Hey, True Believers, Anglantine here with a review of Sideways number three. So, DC New Age of Heroes. We've been enjoying them pretty much. Yeah, you know, we got damage, which is a lot of fun. Everybody says terrific is, well, terrific. And then you have a lot of people backing sideways and a whole bunch of people thinking, eh, Silencer is iffy, I don't know. To me, Sideways is that same kind of book. Yeah, I know. A lot of people really dig on this one, but I'm still on the fence. I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's just I can't really put my finger on why. The character, I, you know what? I think it's because of the character. If I'm really to be honest, I like this guy. I I, I think following the adventures, just the, the personality as friends, they seem to be like it's going to be a good time. That being said... There's a lot of stuff wrong with this book that makes me question why it's so well loved. Let me start with the visuals. Frankly, I think it's drawn great. Everything looks like what it's supposed to look like. The people look like people. The buildings look like people. Or, I mean, the buildings look like buildings, not people. That would be very strange. But it's the coloring. It is so drab. It's just dull. You would think there'd be a little bit more pop. There's a scene in this book where he tears apart a bus with a rift. And I think they want to highlight the color of the rift to the point where they just suck out all of, of the cover. Uh, the cover. Gosh, darn, I can't talk. The color of every other thing around it. And to me, it makes the book look drab. But that could just be a nip to pick. And that is basically what I'm doing here. I mean, like I said, I enjoy it, but there's just something from... Key, it's just, just keeping me from really liking this book the way I like Damage and the way I like Terrifics. Another thing is the writing. There's a scene where Sideways and Speed Killer, Kill Speed, Kill Speed, stupid name, are talking, and I'm thinking, okay, this is really cool. I mean, he literally calmed his supervillain down, and they start talking, and then all of a sudden he says two wrong words, and she's like, oh, I'll tell you what's fair, and then starts fighting again. And I'm like, God dang it. That is just a zero to 60 that really, who's the character? You know, oh my gosh, life isn't fair, so I need to kill people? Yeah, I've got cancer, therefore uh, others must die. It just, I don't know, that's some electric company villain kind of crap right there. And it just didn't resonate with me. Which is kind of silly because before that, they could have come up with damn near anything that would have motivated this character to be a villain. Or at the very least, calmed her down and say, hey, look, you know, you're sorry you have cancer, but really, is this who you want to be when Jesus comes? You want to... Uh, to be the type of person that says, I'm going to die, therefore I'm going to take as many people as I can with me. And it's not like, you know, other people were involved. It's not society's fault she had the accident that gave her the cancer it, or, or sped up the cancer as it was. So it really just does seem like unmotivated violence for violence sake. This person's a villain because the writer said, well, she needs to be a villain instead of any proper narrative motive. And, you know, like I said, it could just be a nit to pick. And I'm sure in the comment, comment section, I'm going to get nailed for it by those who, you know, love it. And by all means, let her rip. That's what the comment section is there for, to tell me how stupid I am. But what can I say? That is my opinion. What is yours? Did you buy Sideways number three? Have you read it? And if so, what did you think? Do you agree with me? Like, it's good, but there's just this one thing? Or are you like... Anglantine, come on, you you are really reaching here to find something bad. Let me know what you think. I want to hear, especially if you have a, uh, a different opinion. It's a lot of fun to hear different opinions. Also, if you like this video, click like, share, of course, get word out about the channel. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Don't want you missing anything. Cool things happen around these parts, especially every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, where we have Comic Book Thunderdome, putting two geeks against each other to fight all the fights or debate all the debates that we might have in a comic book shop or in comic book forums. Also, this is the way I make a living, so if you don't mind heading on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, help keep help us keep making videos for you. 
help us get better equipment so we can make better videos for you. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.